Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bunny Says, and uh, thank you for joining me for another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, we just did our third poem in, uh, in the classroom, and you already jumped in front of us. And um, let's just go right ahead and continue on. Uh, I had a weird experience with Monica last time, but... Uh, okay, here's Yuri. Hi, Bunny. I've been waiting for you, though. So. Are you ready to continue reading? I thought we were going to do poems. I brought my best tea today. Yes, Natsuki. Monica. I told you not to. Oh, really? What's going on? Look. Is she really late again? Oh, Monica's not here. Okay. And consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? No. No. What are you talking about? You said that like I do it on a regular basis or, a basis or something. Oh wow. Well, did she really not know? I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? N nothing. It's okay. Okay. All right, Miss Yuri. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. What? Really? I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Oh. Well, I guess it is something, huh? It, anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh, okay. It's more like a sliding into the screen. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Yes, you are. Oh, well, but Bunny just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh, you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Oh, yeah, we didn't talk about the festival. Right? I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and... Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, uh, I understand how you feel about not wanting the, wanting the club to change. Well, we don't have to do a big thing. We could just do a little thing and maybe, you know, maybe one person will join or something like that, you know. Okay, you're right. I think we all kind of feel that way. So, as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Okay. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> Barber. Yes, that's it. Do it. <laughs> okay. It's that Tuggy laughing. Sorry, that last part was really funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. Oh, that's, oh, that's very... Okay. I guess I really felt threatened or something. Yeah. Okay. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another, another new member new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. Oh, okay. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know, so I'm going to help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Oh, okay. Is Mon Why is she sweating? What's going on? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. Wouldn't be the same without you, without you Natsuki. Anyway, Bunny, 
Uh, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today, that's Yuri. Oh. Is that so, Yuri? Uh, that's correct. Bunny is already engaged in the novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? No. I... I suppose. It was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. <laughs> oh, what? It went by without me, uh... Yuri, um, thank you for understanding, Monica. What? I thought we were doing poems. Okay. Yuri. Uh, there's Yuri. Actually, I have a request. Uh, do you mind if I take some, make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. And to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Can you do all this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. You're going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and I'll go get some water. Uh, you know what, why don't you stay here and I'll get the water. How about that? Uh, she walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Right, didn't we say this before? Okay, I have the water pitcher. Thanks, I'll be right back. Oh god, it's gonna be the same thing again. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That, that's okay. No, I'll walk with you. How about that? You stay here. No. Won't take long. No, it'll take much longer than it should. I turn here and Yuri <laughs> hurries out of the classroom. No, come back. Wait. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? Uh, no, it's not like that this time. Uh, isn't this the same conversation we had before? Okay. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Did I load the right game? Sorry for misunderstanding. Okay. Yeah, this is... Ten minutes pass. Is that a little the right game? Okay. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think... Oh. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. Oh... Start heading down the hallway. Oh, the weird noises. Uh, uh, what's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Oh, God. This, I think this is the wrong file. Uh, sharp. No, wait a minute. No, wait. Oh, hold on. We were talking about the festival. Wasn't that this... Okay, is that the last time I... Okay. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking in the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? They reach the corner and peer around it. Do we have to see this again? Yuri? Oh, God. What? Oh. Wow, really? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. I'm not doing that. Just happened down the tongue. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Um. Wait. Uh, how did I? Sorry, I just had a really, really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? Uh, yeah. My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing you or anything. 
I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. That's Yuri, by the way. I mean... Okay, what the hell's going on? Everyone has a few unusual things about them. That's true. Amy likes spiders. But expressing those, expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. Oh, well, that's very true. At least that's what I've discovered. Yeah, that's yeah. When I was a bit younger, I think it would come on really strongly and get a little too intense made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. Oh. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that mattered most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Bunny, is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? What, Monica? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. Really? I'm not crazy. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, you know, I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, you know. Uh, saying that with those eyes is not <laughs> exactly conducive to uh, someone not thinking you're not crazy. Uh, please tell me I'm not. No, no you're not. Like anybody would say uh, differently. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. <laughs> wow, okay. But finally we're alone. <laughs> Monica's always listening to us. <laughs> she won't go away. Can't we just stay here for a while? Uh, okay, just for a minute. Tell you what. Uh, yeah. Whoa. I just want to stay here. Okay. Oh. Her, her face... Her face changed for a second there. Her eyes went crazy. So, okay. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. Oh, I don't know if we could do that. That's sort of weird. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Uh, okay. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Okay. Alright. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. What? Uh... That was a joke. Oh, okay. Is this gonna weird shadow over her face? Do I? Is there another face behind her? I think I can see another face. <clears throat> like there's an eyeball. Looks like. Is that Sayori? Oh God! Is it Sayori's ghost haunting us? Just a joke. Yeah, it looks. Wait, no, is that a picture of Monica? I can't tell. I do like knives, though. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's. Yeah. Yeah, it's not something you tell somebody that you uh, really like. Uh, it's not something you tell anyone, really, except for your, your psych psychiatrist. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? Oh, uh, I think that's a bad idea. Oh. What? I can show you my collection. Oh. 
Okay. Your collection of knives. I don't know. Uh, I've gotten them from all. I got. I've gotten them all from various artisans. Oh, that might actually be cool if you had various. Um, I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. What? Don't tell me you need them too. I. Oh wow. Okay. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now let's go back into the club room. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. Oh God! Look at their look at their face. <laughs> Who is that? That is Monica in the back back room, coming closer. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, buddy. Uh, now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Wow. Okay. Because we have each other. God, if she starts saying stuff like "we'll never ever be parted ever again," <laughs> like that, I'm I'm out of here. Every day, that's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. And there's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. No. Not to mention that that, that other pathetic child. Uh, we could walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? Uh, will, I, will your knives be joining us? It's everything we could ever want. Oh, I don't know about that. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? No. It's almost like it was fate. Oh, God fate that we would meet each other. Uh, Monica, could you please get here and uh, and now we get to that the can't read the words behind her. Now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Do you do that with me, Bunny? I think it says. Okay, okay, here's some kind of wave on going on. Thank God. Thank you. Monica. <laughs> Who should I show my poem to first? Okay, let's stick with Monica. Okay. Just do Monica. Okay, let's... Thank you, Monica. Don't say I didn't warn you, buddy. Yes, you did warn me. What? Huh? <laughs> that was that? Okay. Alright, let's... Uh, okay. Let's do Yuri next. Uh, I'd like to get her overlooked. And finally, Miss Yuri. Uh, Yuri holds my poem up to her face and takes a deep breath. Oh, is she gonna knife me for it? I love it, really. I love everything about it. Do? You? Bunny, I want to take this home. Wait, huh? Will you let me keep it? Really? Please? Sure, I, I don't care. You can knife it with your knife collection. You can show it to your knife collections. I mean, uh, uh, you're too nice to be, buddy. I've never met anyone as nice as you. Really? I could die. What? Not, not really, but. I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? Uh, you're, you're a little intense. Maybe, uh, maybe a trip to a psychologist might be. Uh, it's not bad, right? Right? Yuri holds my palm to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. Okay. Hopefully that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. You don't have a phone number, right? I'll take good care of it. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
look at the game right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, the game went there. All right. You know what? I'm all with it. Okay, here he says. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. I, I didn't say, I didn't tell you anything. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Oh, what? Now that's just nasty. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Is it odd that I actually like the way your eyes look right there? It's sort of funny. Okay. Uh, you could have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Oh. You don't expect us to like touch ourselves or anything. Okay. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. God. Okay. Whoa. Shit. Oh my God. There's blood all over it. And. I don't know what that yellow stuff is. Oh, I don't even want to know. And I can't read a damn word because it looks like crazy writing. And I'm getting weird noises again. Does he even have a title? Is that the title? What the hell is this? Okay. Yeah, I love that poem. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. I wrote it for you. No, don't say that. <laughs> That's too generous of you. Uh, sure you don't want to share it with the school nurse? Uh, in case you couldn't tell, the poem is about blah, 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 blah. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. Oh my god. Okay. Well, the game went there, huh? <laughs> okay, the game's going there. Let's, let's take it a dive right in. It's not even stopping. It's just going for the hole. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Is that what that yellow stains were? Those were okay. Oh, shit. I, I think I'm going to vomit. What? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. That wasn't just a meeting, that was an experience. <laughs> Natsuki, let's please. You know, I'm trying to think that maybe I think I like Natsuki. Because other than her forgetting stuff, she's and she's willing to forget stuff. That's cool. And maybe I think she's still. I think she was just protecting herself. I think. <laughs> I'm starting to think Yuri threatened to kill her or something, and she just is like, "Okay, that's okay." What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Oh yeah, that's right. Gross. <laughs> oh, I can't even. She ran off with my poem. I forgot about that. I can't even show Natsuki my poem. What is it with you two? Huh. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. Oh, it's. It's just pissing me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. No, I wanted to show you. It's just, she ran off with it. Okay. okay, I'm guessing I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. Oh, I thought I took you would have loved it, too. She, I, I wrote it and it was all her. I really hate that I have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. No, I, I would like to hang out with you a little bit. Just walk me home, will you? I don't, I don't want... I don't want... Not, not, I don't want Yuri around. Okay. Okay, this doesn't look like a poem. It looks like a letter. Okay. It totally is a letter. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I'm worried about. 
I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know that what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really is embarrassing. But I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. See, yeah, see, she does remember. She's secretly hitting us a secret message. No. Um, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why. But please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. Yeah, that might be... That's... Oh, yeah, see, I told you Natsuki's the only normal person in the entire game. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri. And it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that. But right now, I don't care. Um, I just feel so helpless. So, please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. <laughs> just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. I feel like she just wants us to, do, to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh, see, she... Oh, God. Oh, what's going on? Oh. Okay, she, her face disappeared. Except for her eyebrows. Natsuki, I changed my mind. You aren't everything you just read. No. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Bunny? How can I hear you not, not hear you with that weird font? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. What? Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Huh? Just think of Monica from now on. What, really? Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Something really weird is going on here. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Okay, what's going on? Just Monica. Great. What do you mean, yes or no? What? Uh. Yes? Can you hear me? Okay. There's a page here and it says, Can you hear me? And uh, nice typewriting font. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, here's Monica. Uh, you know what? I'm going to end the file here for today. There's that creepiness. Um. Is there some kind of a weird dream world that Monica is, uh, that Monica is, um, controlling and... Okay, anyway. Uh, I'm going to continue on with this because this is really intriguing. <laughs> so, I wonder what would have happened if I picked, um, Natsuki to give the poem to first. Would, would uh, Yuri have jumped in in front and grabbed the poem from me? Okay, I don't know, but anyway, uh, alright, uh, thank you for joining me, I'm Bunny Says, and, uh, see you again next time, just stay tuned, and I'll be right back, so, thank you, goodbye.